everybody, my name is Dana Scheider, and in this video I'm going to show you how to subtract negative numbers. You can learn to subtract negative numbers if you know how to add, subtract, and use the number line. I also strongly suggest watching my videos on adding negative numbers and absolute value before you watch this one. You can learn to subtract negative numbers without understanding fractions or decimals, multiplication and division, or why you should learn to subtract negative numbers. I think I'm just going to jump right into this using three problems on the number line. The problems we're going to use are negative 4 minus negative 2, 0 minus negative 3, and 3 minus negative 1. That way you'll see what happens when you subtract a negative number from another negative number, from 0, and from another positive number. In my last video, I explained that adding a negative number is just the same as subtracting a positive number subtracting the negative number's absolute value. In the same way, subtracting a negative number is the same as adding the number's absolute value. I'll show you starting with the first problem. Let's start by finding negative 4 on the number line. Now we're going to subtract negative 2. Negative numbers being what they are, this is the same as adding 2. So how do you add 2 to negative 4? Starting at negative 4, we need to move 2 bigger, 2 to the right on the number line. That gets us our answer, negative 2. The next two questions are done the same way. Let's find 0 on the number line. Now we're going to subtract negative 3. That's the same as adding 3. To get 0 plus 3, just start at 0 and move 3 to the right. We find out that the answer to 0 minus negative 3 is 3. For the final problem, we're going to follow the same procedure. Find 3 on the number line. To subtract negative 1, we're going to add 1. So move 1 to the right on the number line, and our answer is 3 minus negative 1 equals 4. So I want to tie things together between this video and my last video. We're dealing with two operations here addition and subtraction. When you add a negative number, that's the same as subtracting that number's absolute value. When you subtract a negative number, that's the same as adding its absolute value. Why it's this way isn't really important. For now, it's just important for you to remember that it's this way. Using this idea, we can see that 5 plus negative 2 is the same as 5 minus the absolute value of negative 2, or 5 minus 2. Likewise, 5 minus negative 2 is the same as 5 plus the absolute value of negative 2, or 5 plus 2. One final thing. You may have heard of the distributive property of addition, or you might not, but either way, you can and should remember that 1 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 1. It's the same with adding negative numbers, and in some cases, it applies to subtracting negative numbers, too. For example, negative 4 plus negative 2 is the same as negative 2 plus negative 4. Now, negative 4 minus negative 2 is the same as negative 4 plus the absolute value of negative 2, or negative 4 plus 2. So when you turn it into an addition problem like this, you can turn it around to be 2 plus negative 4, or 2 minus 4. No particular reason why you need to do this, it's just sometimes simpler that way. Working with negative numbers can get real pretty fast, so I hope this video has helped you understand better. If you still have questions or requests for other video topics, please leave them in the comments section and I will answer. My next video is going to be about variables, so please subscribe to my channel if you think you'd find that or other pre-algebra videos helpful. Thanks for watching.